Hi, it's Judy and today I am going to be doing my March wrap up. So in March I read a total of 10 books, which was a lot and I'm happy with how many books I managed to read. These are all the books except for one because my mum's currently reading it um, that I managed to read. I'm just going to go through them. However, this isn't in any particular order so we'll just grab whatever's there. Okay, so the first book that I picked up here is The Love Hypothesis by Laura Stevens. So I talked about hit myself in place <laughs> so i've talked about this in one of my vlogs that went up um and this is the first book i ever annotated so i rated this three and a half stars i really really love this book it was just so fun and like funny and witty and nerdy and it was just a really light like easy read and yeah i really enjoyed it um i've spoken about it already in another of my vlogs but yeah the love hypothesis then the next book I have is Tunnel of Bones by Victoria Schwab, another one I've talked about briefly in a reading vlog. Um, so this is kind of like middle grade slash YA and it follows a girl called Cass, I think is her name, is her name? Yeah. So her name's Cass um, and she has a best friend who is a ghost called Jacob and basically follows both of them on their little adventures. So her parent runs some kind of TV show and write books about ghosts but Cass can actually see ghosts and can go to the other side. So she tries to help ghosts move on and things like that. And in this book, she goes to Paris um, along with her parents to film their new TV show. And in Paris, she ends up in a lot of trouble with some ghosts, pretty nasty ghosts. And she ends up in the catacombs and all different things happen. And it's just a really fun story. I absolutely love these books. This is the second book, um, the sequel to City of Ghosts. Um, and this is Tunnel of Bones. So yeah, it's just a really fun, easy read. I listened to the audio for this and I really enjoyed the audio. But I gave this four stars actually. It's just so enjoyable and I love it. I love the characters. And yeah, really fun read. The audio was really good as well. Next book is another book that I listened to on audio. And this is the second book in the Outlander series and this is Dragonfly in Amber. So I finished the audio for this at the very start of the month. I was hoping to read, well, listen to Voyager as well, which is the third book, but I just didn't get around to it. But I really enjoyed this, did not enjoy it as much as the first book. It was kind of confusing at times because it kind of goes back and forth between time and is told from a really strange perspective. But a lot of things happened in this book. I'm sure a lot of this takes place in Paris, which was something for me that prevented me from giving it a high rating. Because um, I love it, like, in the first book when we're in Scotland. It was really, really good still. And the characters are still really, like, interesting. I don't think I could physically read these because the dialect in it is just... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'd have trouble. I mean, I did read half of the first Outlander book. I just think it's so much easier to listen to these on audio because they are such long books. I mean, this one was just shy of a thousand pages so listening to them on audio definitely helps so i gave this three stars it was just enjoyable i didn't absolutely love it or anything it was three stars it was still really good and i'm going to be reading voyager soon hopefully that's the second book in the outlander series next is a five star read so this is the boy the mole the fox and the horse by charlie maxi i think is the name and this is just such a lovely heartwarming story so i gave this five stars and I read it in one sitting because it really is easy to read. Um, so this book is actually for all ages um, and it has beautiful illustrations in it. And this is basically a story that's just about kindness, friendship and love and realising how important kindness is and being kind to others. I don't know, it's just such a lovely story and I think it's something that's perfect to read with everything that's going on right now. So if you've been thinking about it or you have this and haven't read it yet, definitely read it now because... I feel like it was really comforting to read right now with everything going on and I just loved it and yeah this is just something I'm always going to keep and I just think it's a beautiful book so I'd highly recommend people picking this up. Yeah, five stars. So this next book is a book that took me quite a while to read. It wasn't that I didn't enjoy it, it was just wasn't something I was like always wanting to read and thinking about and i was a little bit disappointed because i had really high expectations for this book and they just did not meet them i think a few people have felt the same way the actual premise of the book is really interesting and the historical elements and the kind of like the era that it's set in were very very interesting it's just it kind of felt like it went off on a tangent the book that i'm talking about is the guinevere deception and this is by kirsten Kirsten White. So I did really enjoy this. I think I gave it three stars. It was a really fun story. It was just the bit, it, I don't know, like a good chunk of this book is the main character, Guinevere, 
just talking to other characters nothing's happening it's not helping the plot just there's just no substance to it and yeah i really did like this book it, and i like the characters that were in it especially lancelot but i don't know it was just missing a lot for me and it just i still don't really get it like that what the actual plot of this book was i mean the basic premise of this book is that guinevere sent by merlin to become the wife of king arthur in camelot to protect him and the kingdom from creeping dark magic that seems to be making its way back into the kingdom um so we had king arthur had excalibur and he managed to defeat the dark queen and all has been good but merlin was banished and all magic was banished to prevent any chaos from happening again um, by king arthur and then merlin gets Guinevere to go and marry him but Guinevere is actually a changeling she can't remember what her actual name was before then she becomes Guinevere who's a princess from a distant land who'd actually died but obviously Guinevere is pretending to be her and she marries King Arthur but there's a whole other like plot to it and she has to basically not get caught doing magic to keep him safe because she could risk banishment from the kingdom and yeah there's a lot of other elements to this but there were just so many things came up in this book, like questions that you thought would be answered later in the book because they, they were mentioned and then they just never materialised into anything. And it just kind of didn't make sense. And this is kind of marketed to have like forbidden romance. There wasn't really any forbidden romance, if I'm honest. Like I don't really get why it was marketed that way. But yeah, the actual elements of like the historical thing and the Arthur, um, the legends of King Arthur and all that and Excalibur were really interesting and the magic and everything was really cool and the way it's written, like the descriptive writing was really good but it just, I don't know, it felt like there was stuff missing from it and it could have been a lot better. I did still enjoy it because I gave it three stars but yeah, I'm still going to pick up the sequel because I'm hoping the sequel is going to be a lot better and there are some characters in this book that I do want to see what happens to them. But yeah, I just thought this was going to be a lot better than it was. So I was a little bit disappointed. But the cover's really pretty and it was still really fun to read. So yeah. <laughs> Next one is another quite sort of disappointing read. Um, so this was February's book of the month, I think, for Fairy Loot. And I had quite high expectations for this book because it sounded really, really cool. And I've seen quite a lot of mixed reviews, so some people have loved it, some people have hated it. I gave it three stars, and this is The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Lavencella. So this is basically about a woman called what was it, Alessandra, and she basically is a woman who kind of uses men to get what she wants, and then she gets rid of them after a while, and she doesn't really believe in love or want anything to do with love because she had her heart broken by her first love so she's very cold and she's very selfish and vain and she then ends up with the opportunity to try and wed the shadow king so she goes to try and impress him basically her plot and her plan is to woo the shadow king and then murder him and take the kingdom for herself but there are a lot of other things happening other people are trying to kill the king and a lot of things happen that she didn't plan which affects ultimately her trying to fulfill her original plan so yeah i really like the sound of it there was kind of like a lot of mystery around the shadow king and his shadows and it was really really fun read i really liked the romance and it was quite cool but at the same time it was kind of dry and the actual story and the premise was so good like i liked that about it but it was just certain elements in this book kind of ruined it for me two main characters that the story is about are very very selfish and pretty much up their own asses, and it just made them a little bit irritating and it just was like i don't know i didn't really care about them that much and then there was a lot of classism in this book um a lot of hate towards the poor and things like that and it just kind of i don't know it kind of put me off the characters and the story a bit but other than that it was still enjoyable it was still really fun to read i was just really disappointed because i had higher expectations for it but that's obviously just my fault for having such high expectations it was still really good to read i'd still suggest people picking it up but it just wasn't four stars for me three stars 
to the shadows between us. This is a reread for me. So I reread A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. I finished this at the very start of the month. Five stars as always. I absolutely love this series. I love Sarah J Maas. I love every single book. I don't really think I need to say much about this because it's Sarah J Maas and we all know that I love her. This is sort of like a, a dark and weird version of Beauty and the Beast. It's like a retelling but with huge twists and a whole fairy kind of world with magic and all kinds of things you just if you haven't read this series you need to like this was a series that really brought me back into YA and I just love it so much and every time I read it I love it more and I think like there's something so nice about rereading something you know you already love but you haven't read for a while so there's loads of little things I'd forgotten that I was reminded of in this book so yeah it was really fun i did start rereading a court of mr fury but i put it to one side to pick up other books so i'm still rereading it very slowly but i just love being back in this world again and i'd recommend this to anyone who loves ya just read it it's so good and then i also reread city of bones which i mentioned in a vlog um but my mum's reading it so i don't have the physical copy but i gave it three stars i think just i couldn't physically read it um so i had to listen to it on audio because I just I tried to physically read it and just couldn't I don't like Clary and Jace and the writing isn't great um but the audio was so good and so fun I love the audio and I think that's what I'm gonna continue using to get through the series because I just I don't know why I just can't physically read them they make me cringe too much but yeah I gave it three stars because I love the world and everything about like the shadow hunter world I think is so so cool um so yeah I gave that three stars and then the last two books are graphic novels um so I got one of the well I got both of these for my birthday and I read them in one sitting and I absolutely loved them these are probably one of my new favorite graphic novel series like probably my favorite at the moment and yeah they're just so good I gave them both five stars so I've got Snot Girl volume one and Snot Girl volume two it's basically follow a fashion blogger called Lottie Pearson and she is very materialistic and kind of a little bit vain um, kind of thinks she's better than everyone else and she's recently gone through a breakup and she is trying to like sort herself out and loads of other things and she also has these super bad allergies where her nose just runs snot comes out all the time her ears her eyes are streaming but online she has this perfect image and everyone wants to be her and stuff but behind closed doors she's you know running nose, snot everywhere kind of gross she ends up taking these new pills to try and help with her allergies on the suggestion of a new doctor and then loads of weird things start happening she meets a new friend and loads of strange things happen and it's very kind of like a mysterious and like also kind of like it has vibes of like a thriller to this um and like a murder mystery thing and I did not expect that when I read this so it's just I can't it's hard to explain what this is about but I'd, if you like graphic novels then definitely pick this up because I absolutely loved it I couldn't put it down the story is so different and interesting same with the second volume is just as good as the first and I really really love them and I just need volume three in my life now I did try to look for it to order it but unfortunately it was due out round about now and actually I think it was due out in March but it's been postponed due to the whole COVID-19 thing um so yeah I can't wait to get volume three though because I'm so excited to read it and I just absolutely loved both of these. So that's all the books that I read in March. I had an okay reading month. I mean 10 books is really really good for me and I'm happy that I managed to read that many. It's been a good reading month for me and I am quite happy with reading 10 books and I'm now 15 books well I've read some more books since these but I'm now um 15 books ahead of my goodreads goal which is great so yay <laughs> comment down below if you read any of these books as well and what your thoughts were on them and if you like this video then please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to um and yeah thank you so much for watching bye